Hello everyone, this is Boricua Pinks, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we had an interesting uh, <laughs> discussion, group discussion, since Mew decided it would be a good idea for us to escape from Monokuma and the killing game by entering a virtual world. Not only <sighs> is that a short-term solution but uh, of all worlds for them to go to it's one that was created by Monokuma like girl come on how stupid can you be and of course Kakichi's all aboard that crazy train he's like yeah there's totally something worth us going in there for <laughs> yeah they're fools fools I say but anyway um, that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode uh, I'm very curious because it said at the end of the last episode, Neo World Program. So I'm like, oh boy, is it going to look very familiar or what, you know? <laughs> uh, and by the way, I have a, a cough drop in my mouth. I've been coughing a lot the past week or two. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm i sorry if I sound weird or you have to hear it in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes, we were there. Oh? Whoa, achievement unlocked. You have to see it for yourself. Oh my god, the music! <laughs> oh. Oh, that sounds so cute. They look like... Oh, they look so cute! I love it. <laughs> okay, okay, it's not what I was expecting, but it's cute. I think I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> he looks so cute! <laughs> the way he's moving while he's talking, that's adorable. Aww, this looks like one of those older games. Um, God, I can't even give you a name of a game that it resembles, but you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Games that I don't really play, but I've seen played before. This is... Hmm. So this is the virtual world. I just love how their head wobbles. It's so cute. Seems like... It seems like it's completely different from what we were told. Why? <laughs> <laughs> She's mad. Oh, cute. These graphics are really disappointing. How's this supposed to be better than the real world? What happened to me having boobs? <laughs> These avatars are really disappointing, too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. I thought you said you were okay with your face. Hmm. Hmm. See? <laughs> Uh, I thought you liked your face. Shut up, fool! We all say that, but really deep down, we just want to look pretty! <laughs> I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. Aw, poor Kibo. He just wants to be a real boy. So you were hoping for a change, Kibo. But don't you know that Mio loves you just the way you are? <laughs> Where are Miu and Kokichi and Gonta and Maki? Huh. But it feels weird. I can move this avatar like I could my own body, right? And with this body, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Huh? What stuff? Oh, you mean the fact that you're sick in real life. Hmm. Uh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> It's so weird how we, the audience, know more than the main character for once. It's very rare and very disconcerting. God, the music is so cute like this, though. Oh, there's Maki. What happened? Where were you? That was weird. I'm right already. Oh, <laughs> she's like, no, I look more cute now. How am I supposed to intimidate people? <laughs> She's like, do you want to die? And they're like, oh, she's so cute. She's like, shut up. <laughs> I want to go back. Wait, Th that was quick. Oh, there they are. Oh. 
Well, why is this so delayed? Huh, that was weird. Oh, look, okay. He's an evil little demon, but I'll admit he looks cute like this. <laughs> oh, so this is the virtual world. I see, I see. Don't you love me now, Shuichi? I look totally adorable and harmless, right? I see. And this is my avatar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get it now. Oh! Don't do that to Kibo. Rude. Ouch. What did you do that for? <laughs> Rude. So violent, little demon. Oh, so that hurt. Excellent. <laughs> oh, well, now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain just now. Wow. <laughs> that wow. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. If you felt pain, then that means our senses are connected. You got a minute? Our senses are connected. There she is. <laughs> Took you long enough, girl. This place is so great. I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? You got my hopes up, damn it. Her <laughs> usual. Actually, this is totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. <laughs> y your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look a billion times better now. What was that? What? I'm gonna take a page from Angie's book and I'll cut you. <laughs> Angie's watching from above. Yes, Atua and I are so proud of you, Himiko. Cut to that bitch. By the way. Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Uh, huh? Didn't I tell you? Ouch! Will you stop picking on poor Kibo, you little asshole? <laughs> but... It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Don't us quiet. Please stop! We get it, so stop hitting me. Hmm. No can do. Even if they are avatars, I can never hit a person. That's robophobic. Uh, even here, I can't escape your robophobia. Aw, poor Kibo. How are our senses set up? Ah. When your avatar receives an sen any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets those signals as if it experienced that sensory input for real. So, so even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of those signals. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I see. And since it won't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. You jerk. Oh dear. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird. Ah, oh, Konta, finally you're talking, dude. Hey, why are bodies like this? This Himiko's magic? Oh, you look so cute, Konta. Oh, I just want to pet you and, and cuddle you and adopt you. Oh, I love him. Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Gonta. Uh, um, so how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? By the way, I've been saying this kind of on and off, but uh, it's so obvious Mugi has a huge crush on Gonta. <laughs> it's really cute. Why couldn't they have become a couple or something? It would have been adorable. And maybe she'd stop being all plain this and plain that. You know... We don't even know where to start looking. That's right. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map available? Ah. Yeah, I've got a map. But first, I gotta give you a quick warning about this world, which is totally not dangerous. Uh-huh, sure. What? Huh? A warning? You need to be quicker on the draw with stuff like that. Huh? Uh, I'm plenty quick on the draw, but not too quick, because then you can't pull out in time. <laughs> Mew, please. Cut it out. Shut up. I said I'll cut you. I wonder what the rules for this place could be. 
Oh. Oh my god, we're moving! It's so cute! Let's talk. Hmm. It's so adorable. Information from our five senses here is sent to our real bodies. But it seems like information from our real bodies isn't sent to our consciousness here. If that's the case, then it's fine, but... Yeah, you, you're just concerned about your illness, man. Look at his little ahoge. It's so cute! <laughs> I love this. The graphics here. There are old school games with better graphics than this. If they were gonna go retro, they should have gone all the way and had it be all blocky. No, I think it's cute like this. I don't like the blocky one. Oh, On top of the graphics and our senses, now there are even more warnings. This really is fraud. Punta. Um, so this is virtual world. But how we even get here? Gonta not feel anyone pick him up, and we got here so fast. That's... Ah, uh, well, it's like Samugi said. You don't have to worry. Until somebody dies, that is. Hmm. I never thought it'd be possible to link our real-world senses with our avatars. But... I'm not talking to you, Kokichi. Go away. <laughs> Nosy. And I never thought a robot had a consciousness to begin with. Rude. And I thought you would say that, you little douche. Fine. What do you want? Mm. I honestly thought it'd be more like an MMO. But if our senses are connected, then that means it's just another reality. Okay, whatever. Hockey! Hey, hurry up with this conversation. I want to find the secret of the outside world and head back to the real world already. Okay, okay. What's that uh, phone over there? Um, Sparkling. So, what do you have to tell us, Mew? Sure. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a special rule to this world. Objects here are unbreakable. What do you mean? Huh? Huh? Objects don't break. You know. In the virtual world, there are no rules that govern whether objects can break. So any object, no matter what it is, can never be broken. Okay. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know? But here, the rubber band would stop stretching at a certain point and just not tear at all. For the same reason, your avatars can't get injured. They'll still feel pain, though. See? I told ya, it's not a big deal. So how is somebody gonna die, then? Hey! What are you talking about? That's a really big deal. You gotta tell us stuff like that before. <laughs> Sorry. But, but that's the only special thing. In every other sense, the physics here are the same. Oh, wait, that's right. There's a special thing about the avatars, too. Don't lie! There's still more. Spit it out already. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Special about the avatars. Um, to make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world has the same average physical strength. Ooh, so Gonta's not strong anymore. Which means? Does this mean there are, there is no discernible difference in our physical abilities? What did you say? So in this virtual world, I'm just as strong as Gonta. No way! What? Gonta weaker? That also because of Hibiko's magic? Good. No! If Gonta not strong, Gonta no can protect everyone. Aw, Gonta, sweetheart. Aw. It's not my fault. That's just how this world is. Um, are those the only things different about this world, Mew? Hmm. Yeah, that's everything. By the way. By the way, how do we log out from this world? Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use that phone over there. Oh, okay. Just pick it up and say your name. That's simple enough for you, shitheads. Also, that phone is fixed and can't be removed from that room. Which means you have to use this room to log in and log out. Oh, boy. So if you're being attacked by someone and you're far away from this room, you're screwed because you can't log out in time. 
Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Got it. You get it? You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. We have to find the secret of the outside world. Yeah, we got it. So, where's this map? Ah. The map is posted on the wall outside of this room. Follow me. Hmm? What's going on? What was that? <laughs> I see. I'm not as strong in this world. I'm guessing because it's programmed like that for the killing game simulator. They want to see what kind of killing game it'll be when no one has their special talent. And that's probably the reason. Aw, oh, so she can't protect us. That not good. No, if Gonta not strong, Gonta no can protect everyone. Hey, who Gonta gotta talk to to get strong again? Okay. Are they shaking their heads because I have to talk see? to them? No, that's the same. Okay, whatever. Let's go. This is so cute. Oh. <laughs> like sliding. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Is that what it looks like when we run in the other game too? <laughs> like, ee, we're sliding. Look, and there's the map I prepared for you guys. <laughs> Study it, and you'll know the virtual world like Smoogie knows the back of her neck. How would Smoogie know the back of her neck? Why? Huh? What about the back of my neck? How did you know that spot's sensitive? Okay, o okay I see. Uh, the back of your neck, huh? Weirdo. Why are you so interested in that? You're gross. Ooh, you're gonna make her jealous. What you doing flirting with Samugi? Mm-mm, boy. Let's keep that stuff about the back of my neck a secret. Don't put it up on the internet, okay? If it spreads, people will start trying to play tricks on me during photo shoots. You know, first, let's check the map. I'm gonna know more about this world. Alright, let's do that then. There are two maps posted here. One big and one small. I'll look at the latter. Excuse me. <laughs> Mansion, first floor. This map has mansion written on it. You know, this is the map to the mansion, which is the building we're in right now. This area is the entrance hall, and that room with the phone is the salon. The dining hall, kitchen, and bathroom are also on the first floor. Hmm. There's no second floor, but I do see a rooftop area. Hmm. The rooftop, huh? I guess that'd give us a good view. Let's go check it out later. Okay. Yeah, good idea. But before we do, I should look at this big map as well. Huh. How long are we gonna be in this world? This seems very detailed for... Like, we're already like in the middle of the chapter, so it's kind of strange. It looks like a map of the entire virtual world. Listen up, shithead. Make sure you remember everything about this world. Uh, um, it looks, uh, pretty expansive. It even continues past the river. Is this an ellipsis here? Showing that it continues? Ah. Yeah, I'll tell you what that sign means later. You'll understand once you actually go there. What could she mean by that? Ah. Oh, there's another building here. Sure. Yeah, it's just a dinky chapel. It was a cluttered mess in there. A lot of stuff, huh? Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in there. By the way. Oh, I just noticed there are black lines drawn around the world map. W but does that mean something? Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> How nice of you to notice. Of course it means something. This black line represents a wall. Huh? A wall? So yeah, the virtual world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall, just like we are right now, with our cage. It can be! Surrounded by a wall? Are we trapped, even in this world? 
You know. No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Which means... I see. So that wall is the end of the world. Hmm. By the way, Mew, you prepare these maps yourself. Not Monokuma, right? Th that's right. I prepare the maps. What about it? No, it's nothing. I just wanted to know. Her reaction kind of makes me go, hmm. What? There was something off about Mew's response. Yeah, I don't trust her. Hey, we should be focusing on the more important issue right now. Yeah, we're in this world. The secret of the outside world is hidden. But it's gonna be pretty hard to find something when we have no clue what we're looking for. Wait a minute. What are you up to? Where do you think you're going? Mm -hmm. Huh? I was gonna go investigate alone. There's a lot of interesting stuff I wanna check out. What? Hey, like hell am I gonna let you do whatever you want? Mm -hmm. Whatever I want. No way! And why do I need your permission, Kaito? I'm free to do whatever I want. I'm going, no matter what you guys say. Well, it'd be a hassle if someone kept watch over me. Huh? Kept watch? Very suspicious. Allow Gonta. Gonta not understand what's going on. Gonta not sure how helpful he can be. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. Oh, Gonta, you gotta be careful, baby. You're not stronger than him in this world. What if he kills you? <laughs> Gonta, you're so sweet. But I knew you'd say that. Does that mean you planned for it? Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Mm. I'm, I'm want to be relieved that he's keeping an eye on him, but at the same time, I'm worried? Bodyguard. With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go. Mm -mm. Wait. Ah, uh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay. It's okay. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta, keep eye on Kokichi. I don't know, man. What? Bodyguard? You mean Gonta? Oh yeah. It seems he planned this all along. Yeah, that worries me. He seemed really like, oh, I knew you would volunteer. Jeez. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Well, whatever. Let's go check out the rooftop. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is not a whatever situation. That little boy. He better not do something to my Gonta. I swear. I swear, Kokichi. If you kill Gonta, I will kill you myself. I'll go into the game, and I'll kill you. Okay, so let's go check out the rooftop. Alright, follow me. If you want to peek up my skirt while you're at it, go for it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Girl, please. Hmm. I am concerned. Oh, we can actually go into rooms and stuff. This is the bathroom. It looks so cute looking around. Do avatars have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Good question. It's normal toilet paper. I don't see anything suspicious about it. But in a world where nothing breaks, does toilet paper not tear either? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Do avatars have to use the bathroom? If so, this is an important question. we're gonna continue to be like what the heck okay so anything that sparkles we can investigate I guess what a strange clock is this Mew's taste no it can't be this world was originally created by Monokuma we should check out the roof okay so you uh okay we can't run oh look how cute look how cute we run yes Look at me, Kaito, Maki! Don't you love me? Aren't I cute? Yeah! And they're like, why are you acting so out of character? He's like, I'm just excited. I'm sorry. Look at my hoge. It's so erect. Er, 
Yeah, it's wrecked. No, it's not. It's wrecked. No, it's not. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shuichi. Pick up her skirt. Every time Mew opens her mouth, a bunch of unnecessary garbage falls out. She's not my type. But is it really okay to leave Kokichi alone? Won't it be a problem if he finds the secret of the outside world first? Oh, well, it's probably fine. Gonta's with him after all. I don't think it could be hidden or tampered with. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, I don't forget about any of this. I like how Maki and Kaito are talking. It's so cute when you run. Oh. Is it this way? I guess so. Oh. Cold. Hmm. Snow. There's snow here. <laughs> the way they run, my god. Whoa, it's snow. Look, monkey roll, it's snow. Look, snow. Let's have a snowball fight. Ew. Are you a dog? <laughs> so cute. Seems oh. like... Is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure. Yep. Isn't it great? Not only can you feel cold, but you can even feel pain and pleasure, too. I made sure to include that last one. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. Oh my god, you! What the frick? I, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Every time I think she can't shock me anymore, she goes and does something even worse. <laughs> wow, girl. She plans, she's like, I plan on screwing all of you, and then I won't get pregnant. Although she did like being the mommy to uh, Monotaro, so are you sure you don't want um, <laughs> a baby? Hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I'll dislike you. I might even develop a personality and kick your ass. That's right. How about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'll see special. Magical. From up here, you can observe everything quite clearly. Let's look for anything that might catch our eye. Although we've checked the map thoroughly, it was created by Miu. There may be other things she has forgotten to tell us, if you catch my meaning. Oh, I catch your meaning, alright. <sighs> How can you get so excited over Snow? You're not a kid anymore. Maki roll. Hey, Maki roll. Men are... living things that must cherish their playful heart. If they lose that, they'll age. I don't understand. I thought you said when men lose their curiosity, they'll age. <laughs> yeah, they're both important. A man's got a lot to remember. Isn't that right, bro? No. I don't know how to respond to that. Uh, I may be your boyfriend, but I don't want to get into the middle of your argument. <laughs> okay. I see this here. This looks like a storage room. I suppose I should check inside. Okay. Doesn't seem as though there's anything of interest here, and in any case, I wrote the program to delete all objects that could be used as weapons. Well, I don't see anything dangerous that could be used as a weapon. And besides, this is a simulator, right? You won't actually die, right? Yeah, right, dude. Perhaps because all the weapons were deleted, the shells are empty. The only thing here is an empty box and some lattice. Pulled up carpet, huh? It does look safe. Mm -hmm. That rolled up carpet is gonna have a body in it later. Mounted binoculars. <laughs> Man, looks like you've got a lot of experience with binoculars, you perv. <laughs> You're such an obvious peeping Tom. I have a lot of experience with binoculars. What does that mean? see pretty far with these mounted binoculars. I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around with them. Get a good look at everything. Are we 
supposed to see Kokichi and Gonta off to no good. Okay. There's water here. Mirai Hills. Ugh, binoculars can't see past here. Ugh. Ugh, is this where the line on the map was? You know. I told you, it's not a line. Then, then what is it? Why did the binoculars stop there? Ugh. Aggressive men are always coming and going and coming too soon. I'll explain it to you when we get there, so don't get your panties in a bind. What is she talking about? What could be over there? Hmm. Well, did you manage to examine all the places that caught your eye? Aw, oh, Himiko shivering. Well. Yes, but there weren't too many points of interest. Uh, ah, it's really cold. I didn't think it'd be snowing. <laughs> nice, Himiko. That means if you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt. Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. Oh. <laughs> that looks so cute and funny. She says that as she trips. That's way too cliche of a gag. Jeez. Snow and a mansion. How ominous. Ah, great job, Killing Game Simulator. But you know. But we're not leaving any footprints in it. What's up with that? That's true. It was probably programmed like that. It'd be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Ah! Yeah, looks that way, but you don't need to worry about it. This is just a simulation, and there are no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside. We can cross the river and head to the chapel. But you know. But how do we cross the river? I don't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> Jeez, you're so fucking stupid. You're approaching savant tard territory. Oh, dude. Let's just go over there so I can explain it to you idiots all at once. Okay. Why does everybody have to leave one by one? Hmm. Kibo, is there something wrong? Well... Well, I was just looking at that wall, and I started to think about what Miyu said. About how nothing exists beyond that wall. And then, I started to think about the wall that surrounds the academy. Yeah... That's kind of what I was thinking when she was saying that, too. What if the world already ended? Oh, no. Never mind. Forget what I just said. No. Well then. We should get going. If we're late, Mew will chew us out with vulgar profanities. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that's pretty typical for her. It's so cute when you run. Where are we going? Out the front? We're not going in here ever. Outside, yeah. Alright. Well, maybe we'll come back and explore this later. Okay. Uh, I'll continue on a few minutes just to see what happens next. Like, how much can we run around? Cool! I'm running around everywhere. Oh, there they are. Wee! I'm running everywhere! Woo! Just want to see if there's anything bonus, like a freaking Monokuma figure. Maybe that last one that I couldn't find is here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I doubt it, but you never know. Alright, well. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for today's episode. I'm very excited with uh, how everything's going right now. But I hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye!